Greetings, Geminis. Welcome back. I'm Yashar, and it's time for another Keter Guidance reading. All right, guys. So um, we're starting today, like I said, with our Geminis. And we are, let me see, going to start with our new cards. We'll start with our new Moonology Oracle cards. To get a quick message for our Geminis. And we're going to jump right in and make it clap. Please do remember to like, share, comment, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you'll know when the readings have just touched down. All right, one more time for our Geminis. We're ready. Let's see what the, ooh, okay. Moonology cards, be bold and make the first move. The Cardinal Moon, be bold and make the first move. I don't think that's a problem at all for our Geminis, is it? All right, so we're going to the Cardinal Moon. We're gonna go in our little guidebook here. Cardinal moon, cardinal moon, here we go. Now is the time to be bold, bossy even. Take matters into your own hands. Cardinal signs are powerful and self-starting. They're determined and great at organizing. Drawing this card strongly suggests that you're going to need to be all those things to get your ideal resolution or position in the situation you're asking about. This card may challenge you on how strongly you really want something. If you're worrying about a situation, it is a suggestion to be less passive. Instead, take an assertive stance as you steer events where you want them to go. Speak up for what you want. If you're serious about sorting things out, you may need to take the lead in some way to step up as a leader. Attune to the moon, Geminis. Here is your mantra. I am taking charge of my destiny. I am taking charge of my destiny. No more passively waiting, Gemini. It's time to jump out there. Get out there and take charge. Um, some additional meanings for this card are be bold and follow your heart and your emotions. Avoid recklessness or moving too fast. Come into your power. The time for action is now. Okay. And... Um, the cardinal signs, just so you know, are Aries, Cancer, Libra, and Capricorn. So this is a cardinal moon card. Aries, Cancer, Libra, and Capricorn. <laughs> wow. These are the signs that like to get things started and which are the natural leaders. No matter when you draw this card, it's a sign that something new is starting and you quite possibly need to take the lead on it. Mmm, Gemini. Whew, a lot of meaning just in that one little card. Oh, I might have to start doing moonology blurbs, right? All right. So we've got that from our moonology card. Be bold and make the first move. And we'll keep that sitting here so we can refer back to it, right? Okay, and we are going to move on into our reading. Boop, boop, boop. And one more time, we are making it clap for our Geminis. Gems, how y'all doing out there today? Last I heard, there were some very beautiful things right around the corner for you guys. I hope you all are walking your true path and not sidestepping or getting sidetracked because some beautiful things are on the way for you guys all right here we go we are looking at the past present and near future and some advice for our gemini's here we are let's go go <laughs> all right three easy three easy cards for gemini all right, so what do we got here? We have, keep that there, be bold and make the first move. We'll keep it sitting there. All right, oh, let me flip that one over. Okay, this is not so bad, not so bad. 
got sevens coming in loud and clear. All right, Gemini. So we've got the, the Empress card here. Got a little bit of that divine energy, that action-oriented energy. And we've got the, oh, I need to do an overall message of the reading as well. Let me do that. Mm. Ha! Overall message of the reading. Look at what we got here. The lover's card. Gemini, this is you. Hmm, has someone returned to self? All right, Gemini. Gemini, Gemini, Gemini. I mean, it looks to me like Gemini, for the overall message of the reading, is going through what everyone else is going through right now. And that is having to release the old to make space for the new releasing the old to make space for the new and it's difficult it's painful it's sorrowful it's it's it is but you had to let go in order to follow your true path in order to follow the path that is right for you because mm -hmm. gemini is shooting for the stars right now gemini is shooting for the stars and they are not i mean they're they're looking for their wish fulfillment right now they are not looking to be stopped at all not hindered at all so they you know a lot of cool calm thinking energy here you know this is not because they were in a dark place you know they were in a dark place they've gone kind of a dark night of the soul kind of searching for self energy was going on here so gemini is beginning to come out of the darkness and beginning to see clearly again and as they do so, they understood that it's time to let go of some things that no longer serve their purpose, however difficult it must be. Okay, the circle has been broken. Yeah, it was time to make a choice. It was time to make a choice. All right, so as troublesome as it was, Gemini did what was necessary and swept some things out. Swept it on out swept 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 it into the fire let it burn what a hey pfft. let it burn let it burn if it needs to burn let it burn we don't got time we don't got time you know what give me one second let me double check here because you know me and my cards i need to make sure that i do want to make sure that that's the right card <laughs> i'm gonna give it to you gemini you know listen don't don't give me a hard time. You know I like my new my new news my new news. <laughs> so let me just uh, real quick. Oh wow, amazing! I, you know I should look at this book more often. They've got some nice little tidbits that go with these readings. Look at that. The lovers, land, agriculture, harvest, light, attraction of opposites, spiritual integrity, inner balance, examination, moral test, deep love and friendship, and the shadow. We just spoke about the shadow, the space that Gemini has been stuck in. Impossible, sentimental utopias, romantic illusions, failed tests, and inability to choose. And Gemini is coming up out of that darkness. That's nice. Look, I only went to go see, make sure it was the lover's card and came on some additional information. All right. So you know that was for you, my love. You came from a dark, you're coming up, you're rising up from a darkness that you had been in due to, but you're ready to let go of those sorrows. You're ready to live again. You're ready to shoot for the stars and, you know, make choices that are necessary to begin to move on. You're sweeping the old out, out with the old and with the new. So Gemini, this is leading to a victory right now. You've looked yourself in the eye. You've taken on the man in the mirror. And right now, this is leading to, to, to people coming. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Uh-oh. 
jump the gun i'm sorry that's not you know these two could kill me because they look just alike except one of them has a little wand right there but this is actually not the victory card this is the seven of wands card so at the present time there is somewhat of a halt on your moving you knew that it was time to sweep some things out but however you wanted to take a close up look and make sure that you are truly sweeping out something that you won't miss yeah to stop and make sure yeah I, I was just about to throw that away i was just about to it was like yeah 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 celebrate celebrate this is beautiful victory victory all right take down all the streamers take down the banners bust all the balloons and throw it out but then you were like wait a minute wait a minute hold on something might hold more value than what i originally thought that it did and so, Gemini, you're stopping and taking a closer look. You're halting movement, the movement that was going out. And you're stopping and making sure. Because you're not interested in having to cry over spilled milk in the near future. It's not what you want. All right? And you're not really... This energy here... Oh, kind of feel like you go in the near future, Gemini, and you entertain some past energy. Oof, I'm mean, Gemini, it's kind of like some back and forth, back and forth, not being sure of which way I want to go. Hmm. Gemini, Gemini, Gemini. So, you're looking in the near future, you're looking over your shoulder, you're looking back to say, wait a minute, am I sure that this is something that I am prepared to eliminate. No, I don't think I'm not. Uh, I'm not too sure that I. You know what? Let me get a little. Let me get a bridge of clarification between these two energies, real quick. What's leading from there? Oh yeah, because something has made you decide in the near future to look back at someone from the past. Um, something that was tossed out carelessly has come back it seems hmm. why oh because the value the value okay hold on i'm sorry <laughs> there you go i'm looking at the four of pentacles and the ten of wands and the question i had was why why indeed was this the why is this that's been thrown out returning and it's 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 more so than anything it seems that The idea, the concept is, I don't even know that this is love. I won't, I won't necessarily say that this is about love. But what I do see is that someone who Gemini was working with or dealing with in the past, they have returned to dealing with because they see the promise of being able to build with this individual. So they said, let me hold this, this individual, this energy close to me. Of course, we all know this is situational. This is a general reading, so it's not a specific reading. It could be a person, place, thing, concept, or idea that Gemini got rid of that they're returning to. And I mean, we did see the return to self in the overall message of the reading. So Gemini has returned to the re they return to their focus on building, building wealth, building stability, okay? And they see the possibility, a great possibility of building this stability with someone from the past. And with the back and forth energy and the sorrow and the looking back and the stopping to make sure, I would say that I feel that many of you are actually really truly going back and forth from an old 
like one situation over here i go to this situation and then i look and i see that oh it's lacking well you know because I'm, I'm gonna lose miss out on what was with that situation so let me i don't know let me go make sure that i'm not missing out and then it's like wait a minute it's almost like I might as well then it's like wait a minute am I sure then it's like so I feel there's a little back and forth I don't know there's energies from the past there's past energies there's some repetitiveness there's some indecisiveness and um I feel like Gemini is is the attention is on stability all right the attention is on providing a stable structure on building wealth, status even, power, money, power, respect. Ain't nothing wrong with that. It's the key to life. <laughs> and Gemini knows this, right? So, and, and this has been a burden for some time. So Gemini is like really, I feel like this, 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 Gemini wants to work with this individual to build or situationally and it could be person place thing concept or idea you know like a new idea new project or something like that but regardless Gemini sees the it's like wait a minute I was going over here for this I'm building I'm trying to build and wherever I can see the possibility the promise that of growth is where I'm going to go okay that's what i'm getting from my gemini energy right now so that that's what this is i'm sorry holding up the wrong card that's what this is these four of pentacles is like when i said what is the reason why this past energy is coming back up in gemini's near future the answer was to build because gemini there's it's a difficult time and if we work together, we can build and we can make sure that the two of us never, I'm sorry, never have to deal with a difficult time. See, look, I came here to build with you because the burden is heavy. And if we work together, you see us working together, if we work in unison, all of us work together, then we can grow. Man, you see this though? These energies right here. It's like Gemini. Gemini is torn. Gemini is like this. One over here. One over here. And I know I, I can grow with this one. But I can also build with this one. And and everybody should be building together, right? Anyway, right? I don't know. What, what's the master plan, Gemini? What's the master plan? All right. What's our advice for our Gemini? The story is actually... Ooh, my imagination. Anyways, remember. Be bold and make the first move. Whatever it is that you truly want, Gemini, who cares? Who doesn't want that? Who thinks that that's silly or greedy or what or 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 not, you know, traditional, not customary? We don't care about that. You know what you want. And no matter how new it is, how innovative it is, whatever. If it's never been done before, who cares? Gemini, you know what? To be bold, you're going to need to be around those who are willing to be bold right now, okay? To do bold things. So you put yourself out there. You put it out there. You say, hey, this is what I want. Now, who's going with me? That's right. Who's coming with me? <laughs> so advice for Gemini in this awesome, amazing time. A little, a little uh, difficult because, you know, indecisive energies being pulled from one direction to another. Yeah, it could be a job. It could be a place where you live. It could be, you know, you know, well, whoever you're dealing with, whatever con, con uh, contracts, negotiation, or work that you're doing, projects, whatever. Be bold and make the first move. Like our Aries, Libras, um, Cancers, and Capricorns. <laughs> okay. Advice, Gemini. Because they are pioneers, aren't they? Aries, Libras, Capricorns, and Cancers. They don't have no problem starting something new. It's like, whatever, let's do this, okay? <laughs> All right, what we got here? 
We've got, wait, what was the question again? Oh, advice, advice, right. So, oh, be bold. <laughs> be bold. Don't, look, you, you know, we got the, uh, what is this, temperance, that Sagittarian energy, right? That Sagittarian energy is like, be free, be free. Well, it, it, it came in reverse. It came in reverse. So it's like, be free, but be careful, okay? Be free, but be careful. Don't, you know, be calculating, make calculated moves. Don't just jump out there all willy-nilly and not know, you know, you wobbling and trying to, oh, and to catch my balance. Oh, no, just like, Make the moves, but make calculating moves, calculated moves. Like, do your homework, you know? Because this guy, he's losing his balance out here. He's making moves, but he, he's so full of this powerful energy, and it's like, bah! I am the alchemist, right? But he's off, it's throwing him off balance. His arms are wobbling around. He doesn't know. So we're in reverse. It's do it. Release. The Kraken, no. <laughs> Release the alchemist within you. You know, just step out there. Be be free with it like a, like a Sag. Be bold. But be more like a Gemini and think. <laughs> Calculate. Make sure you know where these moves are leading. Um, like, it don't, don't go too... Oh, we said this already, though, earlier. Don't move too quickly. Don't move too quickly. You're... Your um, be bold and make the first move. The moonology card it it already told us it warned us of moving too quickly. It's like be careful, do it. Be bold, but be careful. Know what you're doing. Know you know. Make sure you've counted everything, calculated everything, thought everything out. And then finally, um, so that's the the first bit of advice. The next bit of advice came in as the Knight of Cups in reverse. Now. I feel that the Knight of Cups in reverse is saying to our Geminis, rushing in for love, telling somebody that you want to be there, everything, or, you know, um, focusing on passions and all that kind of stuff. No, I'm not getting that. What I'm getting is that it's not time for that right now. We have time for that later. It's going to come. It's going to come. If you do it right now, it's not built on a strong foundation. You're not where you need to be in the right head space or spiritual space or financial space or where you need to live or any of that. And so if you try to really plant yourself right now in that type of situation and like a committed relationship or love and romance or whatever, that it'll probably end rather quickly. Um, it'll probably end before it even starts. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, it's not, it's not going to be what you think it is. So really like now is not the time to focus on romance. It's just not, it's all about building. It's all about growth. And Gemini is trying to make wise decisions right now. Decisions that are focused on their growth. <sighs> And it seems like Gemini might hurt a few feelings in the process of all of this because there's people standing on either side waiting to see what Gemini's final decision is going to be about these projects or contracts or where they're going to be, um, who they're going to do it with. You know, all that kind of stuff. There's people who are just kind of waiting and holding on and hoping that Gemini chooses them. So I like this reading, Gemini. It's very interesting. You've got a lot going on. You're like the 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 business man right now. You're the mogul, okay? You're the businesswoman, businessman, business person. You're the mogul right now, Gemini. So um, if you guys need any additional information, hit me up because this is it. There's nothing more that I have to say for my awesome, amazing, wonderful Gemini's. You guys, support your girl. Do not forget, please, to like, comment, share, subscribe. You know what I'm talking about? Hit the notification bell. Do your girl right, because you know I do you right. All right, Geminis, I love you. And as always, I'm out of here. <laughs> Peace.